it's Vicki and welcome back to another video. Today is Thursday and I haven't looked at the temp. It's probably in the 30s. It's been getting up to the low 70s during the day so it's been nice. Of course I've not been outside because you know I work in a dungeon. Anyway I had a request from Myra that wanted me to try to demonstrate or explain to her the difference between the Dior no powder and then just a regular powder. And the one I brought was the Laura Mercier translucent. So I'm going to try to demonstrate on one side of my face and the other. And hopefully you'll be able to notice a difference. All right. What I'm wearing is I'm wearing Saint. I applied, uh, I think it's Sunlit or no, Sandy. <laughs> See, here I go. I can't, I can't tell you which one it is. All right, I'm, I'm going to tell you for sure, because I get confused. I'm not very good at this. All right, it's Sandy. Sandy. It's yellow looking. I use that one over most of my face, and then I also use this other yellow looking one. And it is... Sunlit. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of what I used. I did it very, very lightly because I'm wanting you to get an idea of what this can look like without it being 3D because it doesn't have to be 3D to get a glow. All right. So this is the Dior No Powder. Dior Backstage Powder No Powder to be exact. I've been watching some people and they're not saying the names of stuff and I, I that gets on my nerves. I can't stand it when they just say this, this, I'm going to use this, but they don't say the name. <laughs> I'm going to try to get better. I may have done it in the past, but I'm going to try to get better. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is number three, three in, three neutral. Now this is too dark, especially to go under the eyes. I think I would be happier with either two or one, but we make this work. All right, so what I'm gonna use, and never, this does not work well with a brush. Now, I've not tried it with a real hair brush, but as far as synthetic brushes, it just don't pick it up like it should. So, you can either use one of these sponges, the Tati Blendiful if you have it, or get you one of these puffs. These, as I said, are inexpensive on Amazon. But I'm gonna use the puff today. And I have to wear a mask, so it's not gonna matter if this is not exact. I can keep the mask on all day and not worry. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Diorno powder and I'm just gonna run it through. I'm trying to do it on the side that I've not used. There is like a little film on the top, but it don't matter. And I'm, this is a bouncy type. It's not really the way the color pop is. It's a little harder than that, but it's that same bouncy feeling. Okay, there's what it looks like. And I'm gonna do it on the, this side, this side. This is my left. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pat it. You hear the scratching, that's the cat let you know. <laughs> okay, if you can see, of course it added some color and that's why I, I wanted to go light. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and do this right here. Okay. It also, you could go lighter with it, but I'm trying to set it. All right, we're going to take the, the powder and, all right, let's just use this other side here that's not got anything on it. And like I say, this is just for you to see the difference. So, if what I'm thinking is going to show, and it should show, is this side, my right side, is more matte. 
And that's the difference. And you'll have to decide if you want glowy or matte. So that's it. And I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna take the little black thing and just lightly put some on my forehead, the, the translucent, because my forehead has a tendency to get shiny. And then you can take a brush and then go over this. So, let's take the IT Cosmetics brush. All right. I think you can see, or at least I hope you can see, this side is much more matte than this side. And that is true. When I look in the regular mirror here, that is true. And when I get outside, I'll insert something that shows you what it looks like outside. So you can see more in natural light. Because, you know, of course I've got this light on because you wouldn't be able to see nothing if I didn't. But anyway, that's the difference. And of course, you know, my flaws are showing. You know, my, my flaws. Or my beauty marks are showing. <laughs> Now, of course, let's talk price, $40. And I've had this now for four months and there for a while I was using it every day and I'm just now starting to hit a dent into it. This, this is the mini one, $18 maybe. I don't know, I should have looked it up. I knew what this was, this was given to me. so. That's why I don't know the price of it. But I've had the original. It seems like the original was $39. I don't know if that's what it was. I mean, the big one. And I know they even have a bigger one than that now. They've got three sizes. So anyway, you can decide. I compare this to, if you want something from the drugstore, the Fit Me powder from the translucent, or I think it comes in colors, but there is a translucent one, I think, in the Fit Me loose powder. That's what I would compare this to if you want a drugstore version. That's all. My lips are stained. I kind of let them stain with the Jaclyn Lipstick Mama. And then I use the Alter Ego pencil. Let's take this Lancome pencil and just do something here. And I don't know if I will be able to or not. This is Charm. It needs to be sharpened. It's gonna scratch me, but whatever. I'll live. Well, it's wearing down now. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's take this one. Let's take the this nylon. No, this is covet. <laughs> covet. 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 Not covet. I decided I'd be a little sexy today. A little sexy. It's been a long time since I felt like I'm sexy. And that's the only way I really feel like I'm sexy is when I show a little cleavage. <laughs> all right. I don't know who I'm being sexy for other than myself, and that's all that matters, right? It's all a matter of confidence and feeling. I did wash my hair today. So, anyway. That's the final look. I did put on a little bronzer down in here and I might spray some of that Anastasia. Let me get it. All right, this is this Anastasia Shimmer Body Oil. And I posted, well, I don't, can't remember if I posted or not. I know I sent it to a couple people taking the baby oil and the wet and wild bronzer shimmer and mixing them together 
and they were laying out in the sun, yeah, they're going to get burnt. But it's still a nice, it would still be a nice body oil that wouldn't be expensive. This was in a BoxyCharm when they took over, when Anastasia took over BoxyCharm. So let's, let's do this for here. I'm not going to. I don't really have anything over here to spread it. I don't want to use that brush. Well, I'll use this foundation brush. I can go wash it. This is a Sigma flat. See what that does? And I think you could do that with that oil from, that you mix up together. And I. Probably you wouldn't have more than $10 in it. If anybody wants to see it and didn't see it, let me know and I'll, I might try to make it myself. <laughs> now, if I was gonna be at the beach, I might try that for, for maybe 30 minutes and then I'd, get, I'd put sunscreen on, but I might try it 30 minutes if I was at the beach. On my legs. I wouldn't do anywhere else but my legs. All right. I've killed enough time. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this help, helped you out, Myra, in deciding. You know, it's entirely... I, honestly, I don't know if this is going to make your makeup last longer in the summertime. It might. I've not tried it in the summertime yet. In the south, I think you're also in the south, so I don't know if it would, how it's going to hold up in really high humidity. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.